Science 5, Quarter 4, Week 2, Effects of Soil Erosion. Most essential learning competency investigate extent of soil erosion in the community and its effects on living things and the environment. In the previous lesson, you have learned that weathering is an important process that helps shape the Earth's surface. The breakings of rocks result in the formation of soil and different landforms. This, also, this is also the reason why we have amazing rock formations. Also, weathering can either be mechanical or chemical. Mechanical weathering is a physical wearing away of rocks without any change in their chemical nature, while chemical weathering involves change in the composition of rocks that allow them to break down into pieces. This time, you will learn about soil erosion and its effects on living things and the environment. When rocks are broken down into different pieces, it does not stay in one place. Some rock fragments become part of the soil. Others are transferred from one place to another, which is called erosion. Materials that are transported due to erosion are called sediments. Erosion of fragments contributes to the soil formation as well as formation of landforms. Soil erosion does not only shape Earth's landforms, it also affects the ecosystem, especially if it happens unexpectedly. It can destroy roads and bridges. The roads become rugged and traveling will be difficult and long. Repair of roads will cost the government much money. And erosion affects the land. It can change its shape and size. Human activities such as deforestation, illegal logging, and quarrying also increase the effects of soil erosion in the environment. Although soil erosion happens every time, the appearance and structure of a landform do not change overnight. It would take hundreds of years to change. For instance, sand dunes would form after plenty of soil accumulate and form a huge mass after existing large mass, mass of rocks and soil. This process happens over and over again. Soil erosion can destroy large masses of land, and it can also transform a mountain to hill or plateau. Plants get most of its nutrients from the topsoil. The topsoil contains the organic materials produced by dead plants and animals. However, this topsoil is usually carried away by wind and water. Once the topsoil is gone, the nutrients for plants will, will be carried away as well. Too much soil erosion makes the soil unable to hold or absorb water. This makes the soil dry, coarse, and eventually unfit for vegetation. In addition, sediments that are washed away by water can clog irrigation system and can further inhibit the plant's water supply. The effect of erosion on plants would mean less food production. This can affect animals and humans since plants are their main source of food and nutrients. Another negative effect of erosion is the prevalence of mine tailings, which are mineral waste or leftovers after mining process. Erosion brought by water can wash mine tailings to nearby bodies of water and pollute them. Polluted seas and rivers can affect aquatic plants and animals, as well as the potable water supply of animals and humans. Learning task number one, uh, erosion survey. Prepare the material listed and if not available, you may use other materials at home to perform the activity. You may ask the help of your parent or guardians or any adult members of the family if needed. Materials, paper and pen. Procedures. Number one, observe the landforms or rock formations in your community. 
Take note of possible signs of erosion. If there are no landforms or rock formations in your community, you may use other books or references to observe some landforms or rock formation in other places. Number two, ask your grandparents or the barangay officials in your community about some landforms or rock formations that may be the result uh, that may be the result of erosion. Let them describe how those look like before and based on their descriptions, compare with how they look like now. And answer some questions about that survey or activity. What are the signs of erosion that you have observed around your community? How about in other places? Based on, your, uh, based on your analysis on responses of your grandparents and brand officials that you have talked to, do the landforms or rock formations that you see in your community today look as they were many years ago? And this is an example of an answer to that question or activity. Number one, visible signs of soil erosion include tension cracks and uneven surfaces surfaces of river banks. Reels or small channels or gullies are formed that wash away the top layer of soil or mulch. And number two, no, they do not look the same as they were many years ago. For learning task number two, materials, three small pans, six cups garden soil, three wooden blocks of different sizes, three bottles of 500 ml water. Procedures. Number one, place the wooden block on the flat surface and label each block as A, B, and C. Number two, place one small pan on each column in a slanting position. Number three, pour two cups of garden soil and spread it on each pan. Number four, pour one bottle of water above each pan with soil and record your observations in the following table. You may use other materials if you do not have the materials that is needed in or that includes in our learning task number two. Like what I had in the experiment you are going to watch later on. And put your answers or observations in this table. Column A, B, and C, and observations. Now, let us watch the video about that activity. <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say Need a cup of blend, that's right. In and these are some observations we had for column A slowly or soil slowly moved and destroyed as water poured on it. For B, soil moderately moved and destroyed as water poured on it. And for letter C, soil rapidly moved and destroyed as water was poured on it. Then answer some questions about that activity. <laughs> 
based on your observation which pan had the least amount of soil destroyed. How about the greatest? Number two, based on your observation, explain how the slope of the land affect the rate of erosion. Number three, based on your observation, how does or how does the slope of the land affect erosion in your community? And for number four, based on your observation, what effects of erosion erosion in your community can you infer? And these are some answers to that activity or questions. For number one, Pan A. Pan A has the least amount of soil destroyed, while the greatest amount of soil destroyed is Pan C. For number two, the answer is the higher slope, the greater and fast erosion. For number three, soil erosion is experienced higher in slow with less vegetation community. Number four, erosion can strip away valuable soil and negatively affect the water we consume, our ability to grow food and the plants, animals, and land around us, all of which depends on soil. For learning task number three, list down the effects of soil erosion in table form. Landforms, plants, humans, and animals. And these are some answers. Landforms. The appearance and structure of landform do not change overnight. It would take hundreds of years to change. Soil erosion can destroy large masses of land. In plants, less food production. Soil erosion leads to decrease in agricultural productivity because of loss of nutrient rich topsoil layer. The soil unable to hold or absorb water. In humans and animals, less food production and supply. Farmers are unable to plant their crops on land and when this happens, it causes widespread hunger because there is not enough food to go around. Mine tailings, which are mineral wastes or leftovers after the mining process, pollutes bodies of water like rivers and seas. For learning task number four, draw a heart eye emoji if the situation shows a good effect of soil erosion and wow emoji if not. Number one, large masses of land became wonders of nature. Number two, shaping of land forms. Three, change in appearance of mountains. Four, deposition of mine tailings. Five, inability of the soil to hold water. And these are the correct answers. For number one, heart eye emoji, two heart eye emoji, three, four, and five, wow emoji. For number six, formation of soil, seven, pollution of water, eight, removal of topsoil, nine, decrease in food production, and ten, clogging of irrigation canal. And these are the correct answers. For number six, Heart emoji, 7, 8, 9, and 10, wow emoji. For learning task number 5, true or false, write true if the statement is correct and false if not. Number 1, the effect of erosion on plants would mean over food production. Number 2, the topsoil contains the organic materials produced by dead plants and animals. Number 3, soil erosion can destroy large masses of land. Number four, erosion brought by water can wash mine tailings to nearby bodies of water and pollute them. And number five, the human activities such as, such as deforestation, illegal logging, and quarrying decrease the effects of soil erosion in the environment. And these are the correct answers. For number one, false, two true, three true, four true, and five true false. For learning task number six, write a brief essay with at least five sentences on how would you help your community to prevent the negative effects of soil erosion. Consider the rubric below in doing the task. Level of performance, 
five points, the main idea is clear and precise and it is supported by five or more supporting details. Number uh, four points, the main idea is clear and precise and it is supported by four supporting details. Three points, the main idea is clear and precise and it is supported by three supporting details. Two points, the main idea is clear and precise and it is supported by two supporting details. And one, the main idea is clear and precise and it is supported by one supporting detail. And this is an example of an answer of a brief essay or a brief essay for learning task number six. Erosion is the moving of sediments like topsoil, rocks, pebbles by water and wind. There are many harmful effects of soil erosion. It affects the quality of soil and reduces the productivity of soil to a great extent. The soil loses its fertility, which is difficult to be regained. One of the best ways that we can prevent erosion is to plant vegetation with deep roots that help to hold the soil in place. In addition, Marshall's mulching soil greatly help in soil erosion control. Mulching is done by putting dead leaves and shredded wood on the soil. For learning task number seven, answer the following questions on the effects of soil erosion. Number one, how do human increase the effects of soil erosion? Number two, how do soil erosion negatively affects landforms, plants, animals, and humans? And number three, how would you help to solve the problems on the negative effects of the soil erosion? And these are some answers to that learning task. Number one, constructions or construction of roads and buildings, logging, mining, and agricultural production have resulted in large amount, amounts of soil erosion. For number two, these are negatively uh, are the negative effects of, of soil erosion to or effects of soil erosion on landforms. The appearance and structure take hundreds of years to change. Soil erosion can be destructive as large mass of soil is scratched and worn away. For the effects on plants, topsoil is easily carried away so plants will not grow well due to lack of nutrients. Soil loses the ability to hold and absorb water. Soil will be dry and not suitable for vegetation. And the effects on animals and humans, less food production, less food source. Less food production affect the eco ecosystem. And the farmers difficulty sustaining their lives and mine mine tailings mineral waste are left over after mining pollutes the seas and rivers and for answer number three soil erosion is a natural phenomenon and it cannot be stopped but can be lessened ways to minimize it include natural vegetation contour growing strip cropping terracing crop rotation the creep cropping and reforestation to summarize our lesson for this video, the effects of soil erosion. Soil erosion can destroy large masses of land. It can also transform a mountain to hill or plateau. The effects of erosion of plants on plants would mean less food production. It can affect animals and humans since plants are, the, are their main source of food and nutrients. For the next learning task, matching type, Match the definition in column A with the concept in column B. Write the letter of your answer on the space provided before each number. For number 1, it contains the organic materials produced by dead plants and animals. Number 2, these are materials that are transported due to erosion. Number 3, it is an example of human activity that increases the effects of soil erosion. For number 4, it can change the shape and size of land. And for number five, these are mineral waste or leftovers after the mining process. For column B, letter A, mine tailings, B, deforestation, C, topsoil, D, sediments, E, erosion, and F, weathering. And these are the correct answers. For number one, C, 2D, 3D, 4E, and 5A. And that ends our lesson for week two quarter four of our science lesson or class. Thanks for listening and happy learning. Bye-bye!